Today on Franchise TV, we're finishing up this 1993 Donner Series 2 baseball box. There's nine packs left in this 36 pack box. I've been doing this box now for about a month, and we're trying to hit one of the Donner Elite cards. I've never hit one in these boxes. I've been trying now for freaking 30 years. It's today of the day. We're going to find out. I have nine packs left from this box. What's nice though, this product is so cheap that you can get these boxes usually for under 20 bucks very easily. It's a fun, cheaper rip. Does not break the bank at all. So if anybody out there is looking for something just to fun, to sit down, like you can probably get a whole case of this stuff. You know, what is this, 12 boxes to a case, I'm guessing? You can probably get a whole 12 box case for, I bet you, you can probably find somebody that, that would dump a whole case for a couple hundred bucks or less i bet i bet you could but here we go nine packs the donner's elite cards i think there was something like one in every like 14 or 15 cases they were incredibly hard to hit nine packs left we're gonna crack all nine this video finish out this box see if i finally hit my very first 90s donner's elite card straight out of the pack I don't care if it's a Hall of Fame or a huge star. It does not matter to me whatsoever. I just want to finally feel what it feels like to actually find one of the elusive Donruss Elite cards. I know it was in 93. I think they made it was like 10,000 of each card too. So, I mean, they made a lot of them, but they made some like what? A, a million of each card of actually like what the base cards. Massively overproduced set. So yeah, there's like, what, 10,000 of each Donner's Elite card, but there's probably uh, 100,000 cases made. So, I mean, they're incredibly, incredibly hard to find. There's Pat, let's, let's that, this is the Diamond Kings. You get a few of these per hobby box. They're very cool cards. Obviously, they're not the e Elite, because the Elites are all like foil and stuff, very cool looking. But the Diamond King cards are very cool cards, though. A nice little, um, nice little in insert card that is possible. But what's nice actually is that these uh, '93 Donner's cards, they're really glossy, but they're not like the Fleer Ultras from the '90s that stick really bad. Like all the Ultras from from the '90s are all brick now. If if you buy a box of like say '92, '93, '94, '95 Fleer Ultra, all those cards are bricked. They are completely bricked. But what's not nice about these? These are not bricked. Ooh, there's a Chipper Jones rated rookie. How cool is that? There we go. I'll take that right there. Chipper Jones rated rookie. Nice. Chipper Jones rookie card. I will take that. Actually, go ahead. Right now, let me sleeve that up. I do not want to damage that. Get that sleeved up. It's probably going to be one of the better cards out of the whole box is this one right here. The Chipper Jones rated rookie. Centered on a thing. Centering looks pretty solid. Condition on it looks fantastic. I will happily take the Chipper Jones rookie out of a 30-year-old pack of baseball cards. Nice. That's actually that's, that's, that's not bad right there. Chipper Jones rookie. It looks to be in pretty high grade, too, so I'm not upset about that whatsoever. Keep going. Gene Larkin, Tom Foley. Try to think who else is a rookie in, like, 93. I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll find out. Anybody else pops in this? I think Piazza. Was Mike Piazza, was he 92, I think it was? He was in, what, what 91 or 92 was Piazza. I think it sounds right. What other big rookies in 93? Probably somebody like, what, like Brian Taylor or something like that, probably. Cecil Fielder. Nice one. These are up, that one's turned backwards. Dimitri Young. Jeff Treadway. John Crook. Good ball player. There's a Cubby. How many packs we got left? We got five to go. Five to go. We got five more chances of hitting a Dodgers Elite card. 
Yeah, these boxes too are, are super cheap. You can get most, most of these boxes for under 20 bucks now. They're very, very cheap. So if you'd like to bust just, you know, an older box of cards on a random Saturday, a lot of card shops will have these boxes for super cheap. Here's a rookie of Greg Perkle. I don't remember him. Greg Perkle? I don't think he had much of a career. It doesn't sound too familiar. Jose Vizcaino? Okay. Nothing there. So far, the only card of any value is Chipper. That is it. Chipper. He actually might be pretty much only like base card or set with really any kind of value, I bet. Maybe that Chipper Jones. That might be about the only card. Benny Castillo. Expansion draft for the Rockies. Expansion draft from Marlins. Expansion draft. This is like the ex expansion draft pack. There's the Griffey. Go ahead and me sleep with the Griffey. Actually, yeah, base card wise, the Griffey is going to be one of those base cards that actually will probably sell for like a buck or two. You throw this into like a dollar box. A lot of card shows, you'll be able to sell this base card of Griffey for a buck or two at most, at most card shows. There's a lot of people out there that still collect a lot, lot of Griffey uh, cards from his playing days. There's Glavin, Hall of Famer. Juan Gonzalez, Jim Bollinger. Oh, no, there's Nolan Ryan, one of the best pitchers of all time, at least, at least during my my time here on this earth. Here we go. We got what three packs to go. Then this entire box is done. Suckliff. I know Donner's now is owned by Panini. Panini bought the rights to Donner's. I don't remember when, when that even happened. Was it back? Who was that? Like 15 years ago or something like that, I think. Panini bought, bought like, bought out Donner's, I think it was. Maybe, I don't know, 04, 05, something like that, 2006. Javi Lopez. That's a name I've heard for a long time, Javi Lopez. Those are stuck. There we go. Bob Welch. Carlos Gar Bob Bayerga. Let's say Bob Bayerga. I said. Oh, Garcia. David Justice. Hall of Famer. Randy Johnson. Nice one. We have one pack to go. This is it. Last chance. I'm cracking probably my 100th box of Donruss 90s baseball. Trying to hit a Donruss Elite card. I could have, I actually have purchased some Donner's Elite cards, just, you know, raw, raw cards. I've always wanted to pull one out of a box. This is the last pack of another Donner's box from the 90s. If I miss it again, maybe I'll buy 92 Donner's, you know, Series 1, Series 2, and we'll try again. How's that sound? We're on the hunt for a Donner's Elite pack pulled card. Someday it has to happen. Mark Gray is one of my favorite ball players of all time. Mark Gray, I'm going to sleeve him, him up as a personal card. Mark Grace, Big Lee Smith. Those are stuck. Ray Sanchez, Greg Swindle. This pack's about done. Ozzy Smith, the Hall of Famer. That's it. 93 Donner Series 2, box complete. At least those last nine packs got out two actually pretty nice cards, though. The base, King Griffey Jr., that would be a fourth-year card and a Chipper Jones rookie card. I mean, those two aren't bad right there. I mean, that's probably worth three to five bucks raw. That's probably worth raw a few bucks by itself. So at least it got a two cards with a little bit of value, right? So it was fun, right? So, yeah, on this channel, I do unbox cards three or four times a week. So feel free to go ahead, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.